Yeah. DT Hulk 23 TV, baby. Let's get her done. That's right. Hey. Back up in here. Cause we just don't care. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful Sunday morning. Hey, we rocking out, man. It's another blessed day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be happy in it. With that being said, we're going to move on along to the, the passage for today. And the topic is spreading the good news. Spreading the good news is the topic for today. Let's get started. It says, Jesus said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the works are fruit. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into the field. Matthew 9, 37 through 38. It says, when the people give their hearts to the Lord, he, the Lord is glorified. But this can't happen if there aren't people to tell them about him. The reason Jesus was sent to the world was to deliver God's message so that people would believe. He chose 12 disciples to help him with this task. In today's scripture, Jesus said to his disciples, The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord. Ask him to send out more workers into the field. He repeated this command after his resurrection. As the Father has sent me, so am I sending you. John 20 and 21. Paul was very serious about his calling to gather people for the heavenly harvest. He wrote to the church in Rome. How can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? Romans 10 and 14. It is every Christian's task to be a witness of God's good news so that as many people as possible can become God's children. Are you answering God's call for you to be a witness? Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, please give me the neglecting, please forgive me from neglecting my task of glorifying you by leading people to you, Lord. Lord, make me a barrier of your good news. Heavenly Father, I, I ask that you just let this message expand amongst the multitude of people in the world, Heavenly Father, to hear this. And maybe so one day that they can share it to their community or the people that surround their immediate surroundings, Heavenly Father. Lord, this has been a great journey with you, Heavenly Father, and I couldn't imagine a day stopping it. As you, you continue to strengthen my journey with you and give me that faith, Heavenly Father, that removes any roadblock, any obstacle, any generational curse, any drug bonded in chains, any habit of choice. Heavenly Father, I ask you to remove it and place your Holy Spirit in this void. Heavenly Father, we ask all these things in your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. I pray that everyone have a blessed day. Amen. Thank y'all guys for joining us. Um, sorry about that. It's been beautiful, man. Uh, we're just thankful to be out here this morning giving God some of the praise and some of the glory because, hey, he really deserves it all. And we just thank you. And until next time, guys, another episode of DT Hopes 23 TV, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Know I had to come back and hit y'all one more time. DT Host 23 TV, baby. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? Thank y'all for joining the channel. 
Hey, we finna turn up with Keeping the Faith by DT Hope 23 TV, baby. Yeah.